So this is the real key. This is the key that I want you to pay attention to. The human eye doesn't see sharp, crisp edges around glowing objects, right? We don't get really clear definitions with this light. It just sort of emanates outwards from the source and disrupts whatever else is around it. So if we have the dark night sky around the moon, what happens? The main thing to think about here is that we need to have actual light. We need light around the glowing object. That's what makes it glow. If we just look at the moon with a very sharp black outline around it, it doesn't glow in the same way. So what is he doing here? He's creating this sort of ring of emanating light. This is what I've observed. The paintings that really glow have this sort of concentration of values within the face. And then in order to make those appear more strong and to give this sense of glow, there's a sort of ring of light or this kind of glow emanating outwards from that central focus that disrupts or, or lightens and softens these surrounding features, which means all of these shadows, the contour on the nose here, this cheek over here, all of these shadows around need to be lightened. Ultimately, if you want your painting to glow, you're going to need to manipulate the values and to create an illusion. You're going to have to change things from what you actually see in reality and exaggerate certain parts of the painting. You're going to have to use higher contrast and more clarity when you're in close to the focus and then allow it to emanate and blur or dissipate as you get further away from that focus. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.